Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> call me who I'm leaving. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, welcome to episode six of the Rated AG <coughs> podcast. We've got Big Christopher up. Savage. Big up yourself. That's not a thing. We've got Uncle Percy. I'm here. And Kane Brown. Um, episode six and Breda. I don't even know what to say. I'm not going to lie. It's a journey. It's been, it's been wild. The first five episodes mm -hmm. have... We've had millions of views, millions of views, mm. thousands of comments, mm -hmm. thousands of shares. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that supported the podcast. Big up. I want to say a special thank you to all the Patreon ah. followers and supporters and Big subscribers. Um, without Patreon, we can't carry on with the podcast. It's true. It costs a lot of money to do this every week. Mm. Um, so we want to keep giving you guys a quality product. So it's only two pounds a month mm -hmm. and you get loads of extras. You get uh, the episodes um, early before everybody else on YouTube and Spotify. You also, you get extra extended versions. So on YouTube, you'll only get maybe half an hour, 40 minutes probably about 40 minutes and then on the on the patreon you'll get an hour and 40 hour and 50 two hours mm -hmm. whatever it is and um, we'll also do any specials any extras any outtakes will mm -hmm. always be on patreon so you'll always get to see behind the scenes um and yeah and you'll be supporting us and, and you we know what we talk about the support as well you know i'll be i read the comments as well and some people are talking about the sound yeah right and what we've done with the Patreon money, we've invested that into buying a sound system now for so, it. Yeah. So hopefully this episode here will sound even better thanks to the Patreon. So big up yourself. No, big up because we just spent like £500 on sound equipment. Mm. An extra £500 on top of what we spent before. Mm. Remember, you know, we got mic'd up, we got cameras, 4K cap. You lot don't even understand what kind of money this costs, you know. I'm telling you, family. we got to buy Uncle Percy white gloves every week. <laughs> I know, because <laughs> they'll get dotty. Every week. <laughs> Because he has to hold up the things to keep it sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to start off just yet. <laughs> um, I just want to say, guys, can you please send Uncle Percy um, your best wishes? Um, he came in today and his back's gone. <laughs> his back's finished. This show must go hard. I know. It's his, gone. His back's finished. What happened? Me have a major technical difficulty. What happened? Me have a chopped nerve. If anybody knows the pain of chopped nerve, God walk with you. <laughs> he coming there with a stick, you know. He coming there with a walking stick. And I'm not two. Okay, I have two of them. See one here. I see the next one here. Come along with the pants still. And these two knuckles. Just a laugh after me. Like, what else? Sorry, I said, what's wrong with him? The man was proper doubled over. You know? <laughs> and he's, he's still holding it. And why? Chris, I tell you my back. Give me, Chris. You see how you start? Listen to me. I hope. I'm praying that you <laughs> don't ever get no chop nerve. I know. It's not a nice thing. Have you had, have you had a chop nerve before? I've had like a, um, I don't know what it was. I was, I was doing um, deadlifts. What is deadlifts, Kane? Please, Chris. Kane, what is deadlifts? I beg you to tell me what deadlifts is. I, I heard tell it. me I've what heard, I've, heard a, I've heard a deadlift. <laughs> I knew it. I, I, could, no, I know what deadlifts are. Tell me. I was doing deadlifts. What, what is it? I was doing He's trying deadlifts. to think. He's trying to I'm, think. I'm, I'm on to What's his kid? He's deadlifts. Thinking. Pass. He's thinking. Yeah. Pass it. I was doing deadlifts, yeah. right? And then the next day, my back, my lower back was really hurting. No, yeah, we ain't going to go past to until you can show me oh. what a deadlift looked like. Chris, let's not do this. <laughs> it don't I look don't like know. it. It don't look like it. Stop there, yeah. What are you going to say about the deadlifts? I need to change one second. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fine, that's fine. Hey, when do I put this in? Um, I'll do it, I'll bring it up afterwards. Okay, yeah, because of nerves and heat. What's a deadlift, quick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't telling you. I'm rinsing your ass. You know what's in my head? What's a deadlift? Listen to me. You're being stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and yeah. deadlift is, um, <laughs> shit. Don't do this, Chris. Yeah. I know. No, I, I know what a deadlift is. Mm. So when you've got the bar on the floor, up. Oh, you're just catching out. Oh, of course, I've been, I've been doing deadlifts for years. Wait, 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 you just went, do it again? No, jerk. I do the clean jerk. Why <laughs> don't <laughs> no, no, get it wrong again? You, that is not deadlift. Man said the clean, no, yeah, but clean jerk. No, but I'll put it on your shoulder. Yeah? <laughs> do the motions of a deadlift. I, I no, do the motions what, of a deadlift. What, for my hood supposed to be in Chris's face now? I'm not doing that. Uh, <laughs> start again. Chris, that's why Chris wanted to stand up so he can look up my crutches. No. Fuck off. No. no, you just don't know so what anyway, deadlift So anyway, I damaged my back doing deadlifts. 
I don't know you can say what is a deadlift. I don't, I don't need to prove myself to He's you guys. He's lying. So what did you really get it for? What's I was mashed up my back doing deadlift. <laughs> and then I had to go and see a chiropractor. But for years, you know. I had problems with my back for years. Is it? And then um, I went to this guy who was a specialist like with rugby players and whatever. Mm. And he was meant to be good. Every time I go to this man, um, the man keep telling me the next session I'll be fixed. But every session, he's telling me the next session. He might take you your money. Yeah, every time. Brother, I must have been there about 15 times. Brother, after about 10 times. I said, listen, last time you said, fucking the next time is the last time. How come this time ain't the last time? <laughs> because, I'm a, like, you don't know, innit? Because you think, just no, by Chris. the movement, I'm a sports massage therapist. Chris, you're not a sports massage therapist. Brother, I'm level four trained. Yeah? I know trigger point therapy too. Everything. Yeah? So do you get to touch people bare skin? Is that one of the perks? Yes. Well, is that why you're trained in it? No, I'm professional. When I see the person on the bed, I just see So why person. don't you fix Percy then? Huh? I, I would with the elbow. But I saw you touching his back outside. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> I tell you about this pestilence, man. <laughs> I knew he was going to say something. See? Why you think me tell you, Chris? Yeah. Use your elbow. <laughs> I mean, no, I said this when I watched with the evil high. I said, if I start with Percy, then watch you. No, 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 Listen to me. Piece of shit. People, that's a, that's a person. That if you life? ever have a back problem and you know the peer will shoot all up and down your back, right? You just want it fixed. Mm. But at the same time, when the man can tell me about you want to massage your back, I said, just use your one elbow. Oh, so Chris did offer to massage you back then? With him elbow. No, yes. he with asked with to elbow. massage you back. With my elbow? No. He yes. shut elbow. Me know what you you said, said, you know exactly what you're first, doing. First, you said, um, he, Chris said, I'll massage you back. You said, you know what to do it, Chris? Chris said, <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Yeah, no, Chris. Don't yeah, Chris. Don't Chris. Don't make my voice sound like that. Before. Listen to me. <laughs> you see, true, say we're family. Use me nephew, uh -huh. right? I don't have no problem with you. Massage me back with your elbow, uh -huh. right? You know, you know, no freaky business no, like that. He, 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 oh, she gums. Okay. <laughs> That's why I specifically said to Chris, <laughs> use your elbow. Come here, can see you with your little ginal self. You go on with your trial and cross. I'm supposed to say outside. Okay, my How's that feel? <laughs> You're an idiot. Wait a minute. That feel alright, Chris. The shooting pain going, Chris. All the while, this man. Let me tell you about this boy. Yes, There's a guy who is in Africa, I think. Yeah, 71 years old. I watched a clip the other day, mm. and he's been in hiding for 55 years because he's got a phobia of women. It's called gynophobia. What? Say that again. Ja Whenever you're clear. The Say man that 71 has been in hiding from women for 55 years. He's got a phobia of women called gynophobia. So let me ask a question. What then? is gynophobia? You're frightened of tun tun. Vagina. Gyno. What? So nobody never tell you where he come from. I don't know. Where him do? As soon as he come out, he run to the, to the hills. It happened to him at 16. 16. The man, the man disappeared. Something not right. Something, something happened. Something must have happened to him. Something must have happened. But he must have never, he must have never slept with a girl before though. Because it must be his mum then. At 16. No, but you can have a phobia of something. Do you think phobias come from nowhere or do you think that something has to happen? I think something happened. I think his mum beat him or something and he just afraid a woman. So what? Him. My mum beat me and I got four pitney, so <laughs> <laughs> that never helped. <laughs> but <laughs> that never helped. Maybe she should have given me a lick in my head because, because I'll be honest with you, that would have saved me a whole lot of money. Imagine the man, but imagine the man ain't got no stress though, you know. The man ain't got no strength. Hold well, on a minute. Let me tell you something now. And this is something that he will have. And that is called blue balls. <laughs> no, a fun and joke aside. No, he might be bashing. Listen to me. Wait, 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 when you're bashing, what are you bashing to? He don't even know he, what to bash to. He, he don't, bashing he don't to even know what woman looks he like. He's bashing to girls from when you were 16. No, because listen <laughs> to me He's got now. that imagination <laughs> in his head. <laughs> you see, the human biology is like this. Mm -hmm. Men produce millions, possibly billions, of sperm on a daily basis. Hmm. You know how much a build up a sperm that is? How much years? 50 hard years? 55. You have to release it. Brother, imagine. imagine. But be honest though, like women have been an amazing addition to our lives, yeah? But imagine if you didn't have the stress of it though. Come on, man. Imagine the stress that they give you there. And they can't, remember, you know, no girl could ever tell him anything. <laughs> No girl could, he don't want no crutches from you. But he got, he got, he's a, he's a fucking sensei. Oh, kid. 
Kian. <laughs> Mr. Kian Brown. That is not no sensei. It's not. It's a fucking idiot. He's a sensei, <laughs> no, brother. I'm not going to cuss Mastery, him. brother. Listen to me, Kian. Chris, right? I'm <laughs> going to talk the truth. Yes, he must have him situation that he's going through, right? Me, going hard them years without no tun tun. You must say, oh, tie your rockers. He must don't even know what tun tun feel like. Wait a minute. We'll we bring him tun tun. <laughs> This is some bush in Africa somewhere. First he, he, turned, no first he turned up with his two walkies thing. <laughs> All right. I have two old girl here for you. Come here, Kwemi. Listen to me. Marcia, <laughs> come on, yeah. You know what I'm going to do? You see them rasta man where them have them human up in the hills? Mm. I'm going to bring one of them high tall human and bring down for him. Mm. Conscience. That ain't going to work for him. He put, he put the man put barbed wire fence up everything. Fifty. Oh, so he really he, don't, want no he really don't want no crutches, brother. He's fr <laughs> he's, he don't want no crutches. Well, you know what? If it makes him happy, then so be it. But he looks so skinny as well. But the, but imagine this. The irony is, the people that are delivering him food are women. I lie. Yeah, because it's only the women that can do it. Yeah, but but can I just say though? No. Why is it only the women that? I don't can know. Do it? There was a reason why they said, but they said that the women are looking after him, but they're bringing the food to him. I don't think he actually touched them or see them. They probably get. Put one in a minute, no. That no make no sense. Brother, so how you know? I said the women Brother, are poisoning. Me no know. The man look like ET in his cave. <laughs> no, but at least he's got a piece of quiet. Imagine that he got one piece of. Uh, no, but listen, he got one piece of nagging. That was enough for him. One piece of nagging. Send it to his cave for fifty-five years. Send him on. Make me tell him how to deal with. Woman, especially when they're nagging one day, yeah, yeah. But stress, the stress is part of life, though. Listen to me, Chris. All you do when a Listen, woman don't... is giving you nigga nigga in your ears, you just make it go in one ear and hold the other. But sometimes they say things to really, I mean, you know, there's some women that not to turn your buttons, you know. What's the worst thing a girl's ever said to you? I don't know, but I remember one girl really pissed me off, brother. Yeah, some stripper thing. Good. Well, in the club. Nah, brother, I was, I was, I was um, seeing one stripper girl one time and the girl pissed me off so much. Them girls are mad in their brain, you know, some of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them stripper girls, you know. Mm. She took me to the, sh the, sh the sh she told me, I told her I don't go strip clubs because I don't believe in getting blue balls. I don't like when a girl's whining on me and that's it. That's like toast without butter. What's the point? I don't get strip clubs. You're going to whine your dirty, stinking, sweaty batty on me and man can't beat nothing. I'm just going to walk home with a hard dick. No, nah, man, I don't mind strip clubs. Yeah, Back in the day, back in the day. Thrills. Not now, back, thrills. back in the day. That, What's wrong with that? Man don't need cheap thrills. Hold on. Man this... want a real pom pom. Don't need no. that cheap fuckery. Brother, we used to go strip club like in the afternoon and meet up like the, when I used to work with these people, yeah? Just often we buck up and just, brother, somebody just having a drink and there's just some pom pom there, just. You're just, <laughs> can't put his whole brother, face in them, back. Hmm? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Kid, it's true. Don't, don't listen to him, Percy. I only did it once. <laughs> <laughs> I got pink eye. <laughs> you know, I'll like, like this over the next day. <laughs> Wait, that girl, you know. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Get my shirt, my <laughs> That was back in the day when you used to, you used to get change. You used to just get pound coins or 50, and 50 pence pieces and then they would just have a, the put glass. Put it in their knickers. And just, no, you just, I just put it in a glass. <laughs> they could just look with, with, with pride. Put it in a glass. Did you just see them dance? Is it? Yeah, yeah man. No, I did. She, she said, oh, I love it. I said, she said, I'm going to take you to one. I'm going to buy you a sh dance. I said, all right, I'm not paying for it. Now I'll buy it for you. All right, cool. She bought me the dance. She's sitting next to me, vaping, enjoying it while the girl's dancing on me. But I'm like this, like a stiff fucking robot while she's whining on me. You I didn't did, enjoy I, it? It did twitch a bit. You see? It did twitch a bit. She bought a little bit. When she put the ticket in my face like that. Chris. Yeah. Chris. yeah. <laughs> Roll on a minute. What? Go on. You suck the titty. No, no, you, oh, you know what? You, you can't touch, touch them. You say she put her titty on your face. Yeah, yeah. she just done the cleavage. Did the titty touch your face? The cleavage did, yeah. So yeah, the titty did. Yeah. Mind what you're doing because you listen to me. I didn't do nothing. I'm a I've singer. watched these strippers. A lot of them put them finger and twirl it in them love box and season them breasts. <laughs> and then come push it up in a peep. Yes. <laughs> so mind what you do. Did Don't it. worry about kids. It was the cleavage. Right. <laughs> but mind what you're doing. It was, a, it was a kid. <laughs> Master season, season up her breast. You never know season breast. Brother, I've never seen a girl do that. Tell me about season breast. You don't know what is season breast. What you just, uh, well, you just, you're just, you're just explaining it. Let me tell you what season breast is. Right? <laughs> it's when a woman 
You know when they get lubricated down below, uh -huh. is when them push them finger up there, and then them see rub their juices upon them. I call season breasts. They rub it on their nipples. So how will you know whether they season it or not? Watch her. Has it ever happened to you? You must be mad. <laughs> how do you know? Listen to me. <laughs> yeah, how do you know? <laughs> Come in a sock, titty too tough. <laughs> You know, you can go out. Oh, I'm a dog. What's up with you? What's up? Listen to me. Don't die, Chris. Chris, breathe, Chris. I told you. I fucking told you. I fucking told you. <laughs> I can't even talk to talk me back. <laughs> Listen to me. I watch everything what woman do with their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> what you suck? You suck season breath. I said to me, shut up now. I don't suck the season breath. Oh, this tastes like jerk. <laughs> mm. oh, oh, I'll be talking to young people on yeah. this show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Oh, Let me tell you something, right? Uh, this is a warning. Mm. Lesson learned. Just watch this woman, them hand, how <laughs> where them are push it, how where them are rub it. Yeah, yeah. So what's the lesson learned? Don't no sort no seasoned breast. So did you have that? No, I did not have no seasoned breast. You're damn high in you. <laughs> it's like My God, bare pubes, right? Why is there pubes around the nipple? <laughs> what, watch this no. one. <laughs> Why is there pubes around your nipple? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but funny enough, I remember there was a time I went to a strip club, right? <laughs> and this girl said, I'll give you a free dance. Is me, you sure? Because I don't want to waste no money upon no dance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When the woman start whining up her wheels, I sit down there and said, what you doing? <laughs> Is whining, you whining or you're having a seizure? <laughs> whining your back. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> you come tell me, you yeah. trick me with your false pretenses, but you can't give me some good dance. What nothing is them this? can't whine, yeah, you know? Nothing them. They're stiff. I remember there was this one stripper at this club when I used to go to it, yeah? Fucking it. She went, she, like, facially, mm. she wasn't my type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She could dance, though. Oh, my God, she could, brother. She could, could she? move on the pole, when like, proper, whine, like... Make you... But it was like, she was, like, proper, like... Majestic with it, like yeah, everything yeah, just yeah. flowed. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, brother. She got, I gave her point two extra 50 pence in that cup. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the thing. <laughs> Go on, yes, sir. Big up, yes, well, This is the thing, right? Buy yourself an animal. This one couldn't whine, but you see, the more I make her whine, me notice something. Mm. You see, the more I make her whine, uh -huh. is the more I see her tune tune just a swell up. Is me weird? You're getting horny. Is me, well, yes, because you're making me gyrate. Me, yes. Hmm. Did you Never believe had. that though? Chris, when you look at the tune tune and it looks slim, right? <laughs> and when she start whining, you, you see it's like a magnifying glass. That was, that's what he was staring at. Did they feel look? <laughs> you tell them, man. Well, keep whining. Yes, Porsche, keep whining. <laughs> All right, I see it swelling up. All right. Keep on going, don't just stop. Oh, yeah. No. Your breast them look seasoned. <laughs> Let me taste. Let me taste. <laughs> no, I'm not tasting. No, no I'm seasoned breast. No, I'm not tasting. Not yeah, man. No, so this, I, I didn't even get back to the story, but she's mad. Anyway, after I told her my car is on the meter, I'm going to have to go and um, check it because it uh, could only be up for a certain time. Oh, so what, you're going to leave now? I'm like, no. You know, you're trying to explain something yeah. to someone. And she's like, no. I said, no, I have to go and look after my car. Anyway, she comes and follows me. All right, I'm going KFC. I said, all right, cool. Here's some money. Yeah, I'll meet you back at the car. Yeah. Oh, so you're just going to leave me in KFC by myself? I looked at her. I said, listen, my car is going to get ticket, right? Are you going to pay for it? And she went quiet. It's me, exactly. So I'm going. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I go to the car. What happened? Ticket. Ticket. I shout loud. I said, you see that? You, you fucking see that? She's like, all right, calm down. You know when they just keep patronizing, you know I'm vexed, you're pissing me and, off. And she was calm the reason. That and she's yeah, the yeah, reason. Yeah. So I'm in the car now, and I, I just start to say, I said, just stop talking to me. Why are you shouting at me? 
oh, now she's playing the victim now. So I said, listen, please let's not talk about this, right? Because it's pissing me off. Let's not talk about this conversation. What did she do? Carry on. Carrying on. She's touching my buttons now because I've just got the ticket. Yeah, you're winding me up. I ended up shouting. I shouted, I got angry. So I said, you, look, you, I you, just pulled out. I said, listen, just get, just come out my car. Please. You never get no tun tun. No, well, I did later. But <laughs> this... <laughs> you still took it. Yeah. You still took it after that. No, because she was crying. Because, but she was crying. You get turned on with girl crying. No, she was crying. You know when you raise your voice, I said, listen, you're pissing me off. Just get out of my car. I can't. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> I said, now it's making me feel even guilty now. You know what? She dig, she... Yeah, yeah. Them I'll, girls... I'll be honest, you know, women are good at, um... Do you know what it is? You always lose an argument when you see this. <laughs> when it's in that face, argument done in her, brother. Lip, brother, you could be on your way to winning. I just... The lips start tremor. <laughs> brother, once it's in that face, just forget it. I'm back out of the argument again. It goes mad. But... And now they're the victims. They're the victims. But this is what... Now, so there's a story now where um, Tyrese's ex-wife, mm. the mother of his second child, they've split up now, and mm. she went on a podcast the other day and said that um, if she didn't have those friends around her at the time giving her bad advice, she would have stayed with Tyrese. Stayed with Tyrese. Let me just say something, right? Mm -mm. As you well know, I have a lot of female friends. Mm -hmm. I may tell the whole lot of who know, stop listening to friends, mm. because your friend then will jealous you you know mm -hmm. what I mean? See you in a happy home, everything's going right. Mm -hmm. And start niggy, niggy, niggy in your ears. And there's them same girls, go on. And give a fool, fool head vice. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's them same girls that will fuck Tyrese as well. You, you know what I mean? A hundred percent. But she, how could she, and the, she put the man through trauma, you know? The man but, went through You see the trauma. man when he was crying online? That was from his first baby mother though, I think. Oh. That's from his first baby mother. <laughs> she wants, what, how much is it? 20, um, what else do you want? Oh, we want from me. Yeah. That but, one. but, like, remember, you know, once you mess around with a man's children, you know, you mess around with his whole heart. They don't do that. They, and this is what they were doing. So this last one now, she flipping, um, she left him mm -hmm. and then was going around spreading rumours and saying all kinds of shit. But one thing, none of them have said that he cheated mm -hmm. or he's hit her. I think it was something like, he locked, uh, this is the story I heard anyway, that he locked her out of the house or something mm. and was try, as being controlling. Mm -hmm. But I know that he was going through some serious shit anyway, like yeah, mentally. Mental. But she wasn't, and then obviously she bailed. She was like, listen, this I is I bet you say you want him back. She said, that's what she, she said. said. She, want, she said she wants she, him back. No, she didn't say it, but she's, she's basically, it's like she's reaching out to him saying, I made a mistake, basically. She said on the podcast, I, I, it's one of my listen biggest mistakes me. I've made. Stay over there, go and listen to your friend then. Yeah, right? right? Would, you, would you take her back though? No. I could never take her back after that. Well, because as well, remember they've gone through court, you know, and she, she sat, she's had to fight him for child support and maintenance and all of that. Mm. No, I will never take her back. You stay where you are, you take your money every month, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah, okay. My punishment to you is that you don't have me. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's my punishment. Mm -hmm. You don't get this hood. Ever! Mm -hmm. You're Not bright. Even Not even Sunday <laughs> afternoon. <laughs> I know, Percy, I know Percy will go back there, you know. I know. Percy will definitely... Percy, that's even Percy weak for Gally, you know? <laughs> Listen to me. He could never be that guy in the cave. 55 years, you know? <laughs> He'll come out here half a day. <laughs> After 15 minutes. I don't know about this cave business, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are going to cave, man. Let me get me out of here right now. Open the door. No, but have you ever had... Have you been in situations where the woman's been um, controlled by the friends? Yeah, that happens all Listen the time. Listen to me. All the time. Mm. I've always said this. Why are you listening to woman with doing in no proper relationship? That's what I'm saying. Stop listening to single woman them. Brother. You know it, what I mean? But the thing is, we all do it though, you know? Because we get girls usually to, to impress our friends. Because you, you, you don't want to threaten thinking, let's say you love a girl and she kind of butters. I don't business In about your that. head, but her personality is good. But you love her, but you don't really want. You're kind of embarrassed sometimes. No, nah, I've friends. never been like that, you know. People date women based on what they. Most of us friends, we date women based on what our friends will think and say. All right, maybe, maybe put it into context like this, mm -hmm. right? I don't mean to say stop listening to single woman. Yeah, mm -hmm. when a woman is giving you advice, look to see if she said anything good about the man. 
Mm. If it's always negative, negative, sometimes you have to use your own brain to say weird. Mm. You're trying to mash up my, my business. Yeah, why is there no positive thing you know about what I mean? this guy? Yeah, it's every minute. She just, cause you, you know what them say? Mm. Misery love company. Me company. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but like I said, you wouldn't, so you wouldn't date a, 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 a girl, because I know someone, yeah? The man, the man date girl that's slim. Slim, slim, slim. But back in the days, I remember you used to see his porn collection, all BBW's family. So that means he really got a thing for bigger gal. But you see, bare you... fuckery on the on the. <laughs> I remember he had a fat attack. <laughs> but you know the porn names. He's got bare porn names. Different. He had bare different porn with bare different big women on. Do you think Rolling you can have, Do you think you can have a fetish for something but not in real life necessarily? <laughs> fat sit off. Like no, but you know, like if you. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. That's the thing. That's good. That's what you hear say? No, he had their pool collection. Like, the names. He had... Uh, yeah, the names. Revenge of the BBW. I saw one called Fat Sitter. <laughs> Have you ever been with a girl that's been, like, massive, big? Yeah. How did you find that? It was good. It was like a bouncy castle. A little kid that was, like, on a bouncy... <laughs> Wee! <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the fun fair. <laughs> you see all no wicked. No, nah, it's good because I like a bit of stamp cushion for the pushing. But I, I think that women sometimes they're too hard <coughs> on themselves, man. Mm. They're always putting themselves down like with their size and weight and stuff. And, yeah, you know, I think women just need to. I think I think if you dress right for your size, you can get anyone. Yeah. Any size. A lot of these people want to look good for the internet. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Foolishness. Just be proud of what you have. If you want to fix this, just go into the gym near you. Yeah. Little exercise. You know what I mean? And even if you don't, just, just, you know, like, when you're confident with what you got, right? Mm -hmm. It don't matter. That confidence usually drops onto the person that you meet. I with. feel sorry for who no young generation. You know what I mean? Why? Because I've noticed a lot of these nowadays women, they all look alike. They look the same, you know? They get their lips done. <laughs> Everything the same. They, they have they... them big, um, what do you call them, high lashes? Yeah, yeah. You... I'm going to give you a Percy fun fact. Mm -hmm. You know what? Another name for them big eyelashes is Carl. What's that? Come catchers. Go and Google it. <laughs> Come catchers. I think a prostitute, one woman, designed them. So when I'm, when her prostitutes them, you give a man head. <laughs> and you know when a man busts in them face, the eyelashes them catch it. Oh please leave me alone. I said go and Google alone. it. Leave me alone. Them called cumbelads. Cumbelads. This is why you two don't know nothing. I'm going to wipe off his smile off your face. See what's in there? Go and Google it. What's the wipe off him face? Well, there's no such thing. Miss, say it again. Cumbrellas. <laughs> Eyelashes, cumbrellas. Google it. I'm going to wipe off your face. You're serious. You're serious. That's yeah. what it was designed for. I'm not saying a word. Google it, please, sir. Are you serious? Well, on, watch him. Hold on. Eyelash. <laughs> Man said cumbrellas. Cumbrellas. <laughs> right. To catch the cum. <laughs> So right. you don't get to them high. Eyelash, umbrella, Ross Clark. What oh. me tell you? You saw how much time I feel why be smiling off on no fears. Laugh, man. <laughs> you damn jackass, you know. Watch her. Read it. Whoa. Wait a second. Get, get the fuck out of here. Prostitute. A prostitute invented fake eyelashes to protect her eyes from semen. You must think semen are no sense. Whoa. You must really think semen are no sense. You damn hyenin, stupid. So all them women there now. You know? With eyelashes. To catch man come. <laughs> so you not blind them. <laughs> Watch your face. Listen to me. Let me give you a little history. No, don't do this now. Don't, don't Let me, no me give you a history of I'm person. I'm fussing up bare girl's eyelashes now. <laughs> Listen to me. Catch this. <laughs> Watch it. <laughs> You don't even open her back, you know. <laughs> when I was a young lad, a wise man always said to me, Percy, make sure you know you don't grow up to be just a bad man. Make sure you can read and write and you must have sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So when we're talking, you think I'm talking stupidness. <laughs> nah, I have to read, I have to read. Nah, I never knew Come that. Come on, I never knew that. Come on, man. Maybe, all right then, so like. stupid. So like with enhancements and things like that, yeah. They, you know they got like a thing that you could do like a penis enlargement. <laughs> Did they you know that? You could, they do fillers for your hood. They so you can go. Get, you know like how women get it for like their 
lines on their face. Like Botox. Yeah. They could do it for your hood and sell up your hood. You know what? No injection in my hood. Would you get that if you had a small hood? I'd be hood? scared, fam. Would you, if you had like a small hood, I don't know what size you had. If I had a small hood, then. Would you do it? I'll probably think about it. I'll definitely do it. I'll, 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 you, think, you think if I got a small I've hood? I've got nothing to lose. Brother, you think if I got a small hood, brother, I'd joke me up? Joke <laughs> yeah, me up. yeah, you, you can't be that tall with such a small hood. <laughs> <laughs> brother, joke me up. Joke me up. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to give you some purse. Big K, just <laughs> watch them too now. Fuck Listen to like me. <laughs> The penis is like a muscle, mm -hmm. right? The more you use it, is the stronger your erection and the bigger it gets. Go and Google it. That <laughs> one there, I know. But the thing All is, right. if you're born with a small hood... You say, you don't want to laugh no more. Yeah, yeah but what are you going to do if you're, if you're born with a small hood, though? If you bar with a no, small hood, if you bar with a small hood, you two can't. But imagine, though, there's men out there, you know, that's right, and, 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 and you know what? We shouldn't laugh at this, you know, because no real talk. Because we don't laugh at women when women have certain what's issues. Fear? But what's your fear? but imagine if you were born Chris, and, you had, it. and you had like a um, you had a micro penis. <laughs> man, that's the scissor. Wicked. <laughs> man, that's the wank with tweezers. <laughs> wicked. Man, so in the man, wicked. Man, that's the take out chopsticks and wank with it. <laughs> oh, scissor. <laughs> oh, she's a girl. Oh, yeah. fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah, that I'll is tell mad. you, man, we have to sit up. I couldn't do it. No, but because you know, you know that you've got a small hood as well. So I know this man out there that it must be, I, I'm not going to lie to you, that would, that would bother me. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'd be as confident as I was. No, no, you couldn't be. Because you, you know there's guy chatting you behind your back. Yeah, 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 100%. But you hear stories like that, though. They call you Chris Clitoris <laughs> behind your back. <laughs> Clitty, Chris, Chris, Chris Clit. <laughs> Chrissy clit. Are you entertaining it? <laughs> that is savage. What part of him is savage that he's got a clit arrest out there? Of course, if you can you can only whack me with the, yeah. <laughs> these two fingers. <laughs> we haven't had no juice yet. Oh, yes. We haven't had no Not juice it. yet. But, uh, but forget about it. I, I never oh, forgot. My mouth's dry as well, I you know. I have a real special drink here. Mm -hmm. Right? This is one of the most important drink of all drinks. Uh -huh. Seamus, you ready? Uh, I thought you were gonna say. Seamus. Watch the big reveal. Come on, man, what's going on here? How long it takes it to take off? Well, yeah, in a minute. Man, this. Source of water, you damn wretch! The more that damn drink you don't have, we for cleanse out on the inside. Come on, drink some what? water, man. I knew you didn't have drink. Wretch, you. You think oh, I've tied something no. up of my back? Oh, I'm upset. Come <laughs> drink some water, man. Go oh, flush out your inside. Come, we are caught there. You love too much drink. What you, what you fear? I'm so vexed, you know. You're good, Brother, wretch. I'm so vexed. There's yes, me thinking. Man. I saw the bag, you know, and I thought to myself, I need yes, it. Man. I need it, though. I need yeah, it. Can I have my, some more? Piss, you, my piss. All right. My piss look you see this? Today. <laughs> People <laughs> underestimate the powers of water. Mm, you know what I mean? Flush out your organs, make your blood flow through your body. Release your chakras. Release mm. your chakras. What are chakras? Don't ask me no chakras. <laughs> it's yeah. key points in your body, Chris. Yeah. All right, name me. What's the first chakra? Do? I'm not going to get too technical. This, this I like my deadlifting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, I know what the bloody chakras is. It's all good. I told you, I told you, I told you. But listen to me. I can admit it. I'm not going to string it along. I don't want to talk about Google chakras. Chakras, chakras are energy centers that flow throughout your body. No, so, see something to do with that. So they say so that. I cut the so off. they say that your first chakra um, is in between. Your, your, it's on your runway, so it's in between. Thank you, God, it takes so long. It's because I'm thinking about it. So it's, your chakras are in between your, your balls and your bum, hmm? right? What, what, what are they? Say that again. Your perineum. Your first sh chakra. Is, is your perineum? Yeah, the, the gooch. That's perineum. Yeah. That's a Met that one that's has tear them in you know, no, that No, 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 it's your chakra, but what that I does. I don't want to with that. But apparently. To activate it, you've got to press it. What's this other one now, man? <laughs> Hello? What's Watch him. <laughs> Watch him. Me go to activate my chakra, you say? Something about this guy here, you know. I tell you, <laughs> you know, that's why I'm not playing with hard. You know what, Chris? Him. That's how I mash up my back. Watch it. Watch it. I activated the chakra. Chris, go ahead and touch it in this hyena, yeah, yeah. That chakra can't stay over there. No, no. Give me another Let one. Let me tell you what that chakra does, though. Which one? 
That chakra is just the, the energy center, the, the first one that I just said, between the perineal, right? It's the energy center that connects you from here to the ground. Mm -hmm. So it's... Oh, you activated. Well, I, I'm not sure, but what they say is if it's blocked, yeah, then you usually ain't good at telling oriental, uh, like orientation, you're not, you don't like nature, things like that. They say, so if that chakra is blocked, then you can tell because someone's not good with directions and nature and stuff like that. So Wait. how do you unblock it then? Because that's what a person wants to know. It was, does it mass, do you need a massage yeah. on it? Or is it like a cream? Watch, watch, watch pestilence. Or is it like a... <laughs> what no, I'm, pestilence? I'm asking for pestilence. All right, before you answer that question, Chris, <laughs> I am one with nature already. Mm. Mm. So nothing not trouble my something down there. that directions? Of you course never forget, that direction. You never forget where you are? Listen to me. So it means... I have no problem in that. So nothing don't need for trouble down there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Or right. maybe it's being trouble, that's why you don't have no No, shut up him all time, don't talk. I think they got is. like, I can't remember how many, but you know what, to be honest, that's the only one I remember, but I know. The holy one you know at the bottom. Oh, oh Jesus, no. I'm not that Wait, 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 no. Chris. <laughs> no, no, not like oh, that. What no. <laughs> No, Remember, yeah, he yeah. came in like he was a teacher, you know? Oh, that would be I say. So there's, there's loads of chakras. I know where the first one is. <laughs> she between your balls and your mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, kids. You must know something else. <laughs> 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 between your balls and your mouth. <laughs> between your balls and your mouth. Right, purse. And to activate it, <laughs> You need to have a, you need to have a, you need to have a sat nav on it, right? <laughs> Chris, come on, man, you must know something else. Ah. Chris, so they got man. three. There's one that's associated with money. All right, where is that one situated? I, I think I, I don't know, but there's a line of them. Oh, but you could, there's like eight, nine. I don't study it, but I just know that each chakra. You know what? I'm going to come back here and and teach you about it. You one, don't know nothing yes, about please. the chakras. There's one to do with money, finance, love. Um, there's loads of different ones. There's one to connect you to the higher power. I think that's the top chakra. Is that, is that your third eye, kind of thing? Yeah, your third eye. You see? Yeah, <laughs> but you see, you just want to... <laughs> you, was, so, you, you thought your hood was your third yeah. eye, isn't it? What do you mean, the third eye? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so, yeah, so, in general, a chakra is energy centers that run throughout your body. Cameraman, you if you clean it up? out, hmm. If you clean it out, then it's different. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Someone wrote into... Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> into rated 18, so again, Big up the rated 18s. Um, rated 18s. The rated 18s. Oh, yeah. Love yourself, man. Big people yeah. business. So the people who follow the Instagram site and send me questions or dilemmas, right? So there's this guy. He wanted to rename, remain anonymous. So okay. he said that he's been seeing this girl for a couple of years, mm -hmm. right? But this girl and her friends. <laughs> Friend again? Yes. <laughs> Exactly. Let me tell you about friends. Yeah. Carry on. <coughs> so her friends are a bit, um, what's the word, for the streets, a bit hoish, okay. right? And she's always coming back and telling him stories about the friends. Ross. And how they're dirty and this and that, right? Him, I tell her. She's no, she told him. She, I tell him about oh, her friends. So oh, you know, okay. like a girl, like, you know, Patrice, you know what she did today? Mm. Do you know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. the friend's just listening. Mm -hmm. But this is her friends now. So now, they're always going on holiday and stuff, right? But he's not a man to kind of intervene because he's thinking, fuck it, I don't want her to go on this holiday because I think this girl's not... Do you get what I'm saying? Like, eventually, when you start telling someone that your friends are dirty, you're going to start thinking that, hold on, are you like this? So what he wants to know is if he should say something because she's going to go on holiday with the friends. Should he intervene and say, yo, I don't want you going on holiday, man? Because I don't trust you with your friends. Well, if you're going to tell her that, make sure you take her up on a proper holiday then, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But would you trust a girl? Or would you say to her, it's right, just go with your friends? Is she trustworthy? Brother, I know what I'm doing anyway. Well, listen, wait, wait, wait. You can't, that's what I'm saying. You think she's trustworthy, but the way she's talking about her friends makes you think differently. Oh, so when she explain that the friend had done, who is behaving? You're thinking, she had mm, I'm oh, happy. If, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I wonder if you're like this. Listen, I know. Do you think birds of a feather flock together? Listen, I know what I'm doing. She can go. She can go, but brother, she's wearing a ring doorbell on her forehead. <laughs> <laughs> brother, I'm thinking, brother, I'm thinking one of these. <laughs> Whatever you see, I see. You know what I mean? Well, well, I better than that. Just padlock up, padlock up, tun tun. No. 
You can get it with your pum pum. This door, ring doorbell stuck on your forehead. I will let her go. If, if I'm with her, why am I now being insecure? Hmm? If you can't trust your woman to be with her friends, that means yeah, you are her. stopping her from being the person she really is. Now she's going to have to lock off friends and be with you. So now she's going to rely more on you. And now she's not going to be herself. Then her friends are going to be like, yo, she's changed. So that means that you guys are the story. So let me ask, and you're the insecure men. You're Chris, the jealous men. Christopher, I'm going to teach you hard. Don't something. be with her then. I'm going to teach you hard something, right? Woman can lie for them mouth. Mm -hmm. So don't talk to the mouth. Ask the tun tun. <laughs> the tun tun will tell you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> the pum pum whisperer. <laughs> of course. Tell me what happened from Hollywood. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What did you catch up to? Shh. Man, try not to wake up, you know? At night time, man's under the covers. Shh. Listen to me, pum pum. What happened when you go abroad? <laughs> Anybody go in there? Don't wake up. <laughs> yeah. The pum pum look back at him and go, oh. What happened to me? Anybody go in there? <laughs> <laughs> no, but so you think that if you beat it after and it don't feel right. You will know, Chris. Is it more the energy rather than the, the pum pum? Okay, guys, this is our begging letter. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, listen. Um, yeah, um, so basically, this podcast is not free to make. It actually costs quite a lot of money. You can see the production value that goes into it. Holy, a holy. Um, and we'd like you guys to support us. The best way to support us is to sign up to our Patreon, which is uh, pe uh, rated18 at patreon.com. You sure? Patreon.com slash rated18. You just gave them to patreon.com slash rated18 podcast. Forward slash or backslash? Forward slash. How come they don't do backslash in anything? Anyway. Why, why for the max slash? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the best way to support us, guys. What is it? Two pound a month? Two pound a month. Go and get your Patreon. So make sure you guys get ex exclusive content. Mm -hmm. You'll get the podcast early. Mm -hmm. You'll get to see a picture of Uncle Percy. Uh, who said that? <laughs> <laughs> don't be telling I, your yeah, lies. You won't get that. You telling get dreams. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, send you, I'll send you a picture of just any random old man every week. Uh, and then... <laughs> I said you guys can guess which one it is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Guess who? <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, we really um, would appreciate your support because you know what? We really want to keep giving you guys great content. The, hey, listen, the feedback we've been getting so far, you know? Mad. Listen. Yeah. But I don't even say nothing just yet. I don't even begin nothing yet. You ain't begin, but you ain't even got internet to know what the feedback is. <laughs> <been. laughs> no, I have internet. <laughs> yes, <I'm just> <laughs> but yeah the feedback's been amazing um the comments the views um i'm not gonna lie to you, you know this has been a good few years in the making mm. and um all the magic has come together and we are glad that you guys appreciate it um, but for us to keep going honestly we're not joking around this is serious now we, <laughs> we need somebody yeah we need somebody a little a little change you yeah. know i'm after say this as well right when Chris sends me the comments, I read all of them. Love to all of you. I big up yourself. Because the two pounds a month, it actually goes in for studio time. Do you know what I mean? The cameras, the travel costs. The travel costs. Do you know what I mean? Just time. Time is money. You yeah. see what I mean? And we're giving you a lot of entertainment and it's our work. You know, and brother, this begging that has got on too long. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> no one, all right, finish it off with no one doesn't want to work for free. So, please, support. But it's less than free because it's, co it's costing us to do this. It's costing me to give... Them. You know what, yeah? Just send the money, Tom. <laughs> no, no, they're taking the fucking piss now. You're taking the piss. You want this breeder entertainment for nothing? Two pounds a month. Quality. But I'll stop asking now, you know, but I'm making it up. <laughs> give me the money! <laughs>